I want to give you a better understanding of why we are forming these global coalitions for the Global Truce 2012 campaign. Firstly, it's worth letting you know that Global Truce 2012 will become Global Truce 2013 and so on. We want to see a decrease in violence on the only day of ceasefire and non-violence, and we want to see people gathering on the day. Naturally, we want to see an improvement year on year, and that's what we're committed to making happen. I haven't got this situation under control. This isn't an easy task, and obviously we can't do it alone. The only way we're going to achieve our objectives is if we all work together. Institutionalising the day has to be everyone's legacy. So it didn't take me long to realise that in order to succeed, coalitions, partnerships were going to be the key to success. The first coalition we built was with students led by the NUS in the UK. When the NUS made a commitment to mobilise the students of the UK, it made me think, well, let's involve the student unions around the world. Why don't we get key representatives from all continents to create a student coalition which could lead the process of uniting the student population to stand together as one in the name of peace and sustainability. This mass participation from the individuals of our world is the leverage needed to make global truce a success. If the people honour the 21st of September as a day of ceasefire and non-violence, then governments will follow. We then launched a second coalition of organisations dealing with domestic violence. After all, Peace Day is not just a day of ceasefire, but a day of non-violence. I had the privilege of meeting Baroness Scotland in Brussels when she told me of the incredible work of EDV, the Eliminate Domestic Violence Global Foundation. I asked Baroness Scotland if she would partner with us to see if we could create a coalition, again with global representation, to raise awareness and reduce domestic violence on Peace Day. It was a great honour and privilege when she said yes, and another incredible coalition was formed, including some of the most remarkable people trying to eliminate domestic violence. For Peace Day 2012, our final coalition is with the NGO sector, and I'm delighted that Interpeace, one of the world's largest peacebuilding NGOs, has partnered with us to bring together an incredible group of individuals and organisations. We're going to work together to see an amazing result within this sector on Peace Day 2012. You can find out about all of these coalitions and more in the Global Truth section of our website. Please get involved, join our membership and mark Peace Day 2012. By working together, we can do it. Thanks.